Okay, so I finally got my PlayStation 5 order delivered. This was supposed to be delivered yesterday. November 12th was the launch date for this, and I pre-ordered this on September 16th. Just like, you know, most people that could get a pre-order. They didn't deliver it yesterday, man. I was waiting for this yesterday. So I, I couldn't do an unboxing video, but today, Today, right now, I'm doing this. I'm doing this video. I know you've probably already seen a lot of people do unboxing videos about the PS5, but I'm still going to do mine. <laughs> I've waited close to seven years for this console to be released, just like everybody else. So I'm going to unbox it. So I'm going to be using my PlayStation 4 in my bedroom to play or to access my PlayStation 5 because there's this new feature on the PlayStation 4 called PlayStation 5 Remote Play. So that feature allows you to use your old PlayStation 4 to access your PlayStation 5 in a different bedroom or a different you know room. I'm going to be testing that feature out. So if you want to find out about that feature, make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. But you know what? Let's unbox this because I'm not waiting anymore man seven years that's a long time coming let's do this <laughs> first box we're going to open is this no not that one I think I'm gonna go with this one <laughs> okay so right here looks like we've got the dock so the controller dock for you know charging two controls at the same time so I'm going to open this one first and then we go from there manual that I'm probably certainly not gonna be using Adapter, which you definitely plug into uh, the dock and then into, you know, an AC outlet. Here's a dock right here. Let's see what it looks like. There's just one more thing. There's one more cable which you attach to the adapter to charge it or to plug it in. Okay, so right here, as you can see, this thing looks slick, man. Look at how nice that looks. That looks really clean. I like that finish. I, I love the design. The entire black and white finish. I like it. I like it. I don't know if you like it, but me, I, I like that minimalist, you know, look. That white and black look. It's kind of nice to me. Yeah, that's basically it for this one. Pretty small, but I love it. The next box I'm going to open is the media remote control. So this is a new addition to the PlayStation 5 this year. So PlayStation 4 never had this. A lot of people use the PlayStation 4 to do a lot of uh, streaming on uh, Netflix. It doubles as a media center as well as a gaming uh, center. This is a nice addition in my opinion. So you might not need it. You can still use your controllers to control the console, but this is cool if you want to just, you know, watch movies sometimes and just, you know, use the control use the use the media remote instead. So let's open this. Got a pair of batteries here. Well, thanks PlayStation for at least giving us the first one to start with. And then we've also got a manual, another manual. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to use this to learn how to use a media. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Look at that. It's nice. It's small, and it's not even expensive. It's not pricey. In Canada, this costed about $39.99. That's like $40. Honestly, some people might consider that as, as pricey, but to me, I don't I don't think that's pricey. Okay, so we've got Netflix, Disney Plus, Spotify, and YouTube. Before you can just access these by going directly into the PlayStation and then you know downloading the app and then going through it. But now you can just press these buttons. From what I've seen, all you have to do now is press one of these buttons to access these apps directly. So you just jump into the app. It could be from a video game you're playing and you're right into Netflix but that's neat that's pretty clean right there so you don't have to get this accessory this is just treating yourself at this point to be honest but I like treating myself the next box we're going to open is this right here the 1080p HD camera so this is going to be great for all you gamers who like to stream your you know gameplay to twitch and all the services like that I'm one of those gamers who like to stream my content live so if you want to check me out on twitch make sure to go down in the description below I'm going to leave my twitch link there 1080p HD capture that's what this camera is capable of it's also got background removal tools so you can just you know automatically remove the background from your capture so directly from the camera which is a great perk it's awesome and this thing is small it's also got a built-in stand which is awesome to be honest with you let's open this box and see what's in there this package has got another manual I like that they're you know doing their due diligence so that's great and right here we've got the camera like I said look at how small this thing is man look at how small this is this is a very small camera that, that's got two cameras in it so it's got two cameras two 1080p cameras as you can see right there in front so I can't wait to see how this works when I test it out and plug it into my PlayStation next up we're going to open my extra controller you know what we'll save this for last we're gonna open this up with the PlayStation let's open up the headset first the Pulse 3d headset so there's a lot of raving about this one right now with the 3d audio you know and how awesome it is what I 
I've heard about the 3D audio is when you hear something within the game, it's going to sound as close as it is to you within the game or as far as it is from you within the game. I can't wait to test that feature out. That's awesome. Okay, so this thing also has two mics inside of it. So it's also got nice cushion air pads and it's wireless. So it's all, it's just like the gold headset, but it's got the 3D audio, which is so good about it. I love that function. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to open this up right now. We're going to see what this looks like. Okay, for the headphones, we've got some manuals, like, you know, the rest of every single box here, again. <laughs> I love the, I love the manuals, man. So right here, we've got, I think we've got a 3.5 millimeter aux, yeah, all the cables, basically. USB to USB-C. And we've got a standard 3.5 millimeter aux cord, as well as the wireless adapter. So this is how you would use it with your PlayStation while walking around the house, you know, making breakfast, talking to your friends, or just listening to some music. Look at this thing, man. Look at how beautiful and clean these headphones are. I used to have the PlayStation 4 wireless gold headphones or headsets, whatever they used to call them. And those were awesome, to be honest. I'm not saying they were bad, but this? Nah, this is an upgrade. This is a step up, to be honest with you. So let me try this on. Let, let's feel this, man. I can't wait to, I just can't, I'm just doing it, man. Ooh, yeah, that feel good. I'm going to be using this a lot. If you come to any of my streams or see me in any of my videos, you're going, you're definitely gonna see this being featured in there. The moment of truth, man. This is the reason why we're all here. I know you guys wanna see this box, see what's in there. You probably already seen it, but you're gonna see it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this to the side. I wanna open this up first because there's also a controller with every PlayStation 5 system. So if I open this up, we get to see the controller and then I can then open this up. We're gonna do this first and then this doesn't really matter. Yes, the moment of truth, the PlayStation 5. So this is my disc free console, the digital console, which I prefer because personally I haven't bought a single disc version of a game for the last five years. And I'm not gonna do it on the PlayStation 5 to be honest, I'm not, I don't really like to work with discs because one, they're not reliable in my opinion. They can get scratched, hell yeah, some people take care of their discs very well, but I don't like discs, I'm a digital, I'm a digital kind of guy, so you know, that's why I got this. Okay, let's open this. So here we go, PlayStation 5, y'all. Let's unwrap this thing. <laughs> I am so excited to see this, man. I'm pissed about all the pre-order, you know, the things that happen with pre-ordering, the things that happen with trying to get a pre-order, because there's a shortage, there's a massive shortage, but there's also a, a large demand for this thing, and there's not enough supply. You can't blame them. The whole world wants this thing right now. But let me show you guys what this looks like, at least what mine looks like. <laughs> Shiny. I love new things, man. I don't know about you, but I love new and shiny things. And this is new and shiny. I thought it'd be bigger than this, to be honest. It's not as big as they said it was going to be. In my opinion, this this is big. I'm not saying it's not, but it's all right. It works. So you can see right there, it's really minimalistic, looks really clean, and it's gonna fit into virtually any design. So it doesn't matter how your home decor looks, this will fit. It's black and white, man, with a nice and clean finish, as usual. Just like PlayStation to do this, man. I can't wait to plug it in. It's a little heavy. I don't know about in comparison to the PlayStation 4. I might do a comparison. This is what we got, man. I'm gonna set this to the side and we're gonna look at the last piece. The DualSense wireless controller. Let's look at that, man. Another thing that I'm actually really excited to see. The final manual we have to deal with. <laughs> the most important manual. The one that helps you get going with the PlayStation 5. Got the power adapter. We've also got the stand. So if you wanna stand this up vertically, then you can use this little stand right here. I'll probably be using this because I don't have the space. And we've got an HDMI cable here. I think this is an HDMI 2.1. So you have to have a, a nice TV to use all the, you know, functions. Like the 4K, you know, capability of the console. So you want to have one cable like you want to use a cable like this not one of those, you know regular HDMI cables the last but not the least man the thing you're going to be using the most. Oh, that feel good. I think this actually feels better than the original DualShock controller. To me, this feels like it's got better ergonomics than the, you know, original DualShock controllers. So the original DualShock controllers, which come with the PlayStation 4, they were cool. I'm not saying they were bad. They were awesome, to be honest. I loved them. But these ones, these ones might be revolutionary. And I like the fact that, you know, the buttons don't have colors anymore. They're all kind of just black and white. Everything is simple. It just looks better. It looks more, I don't know, mature, I guess you could say. Almost like PlayStation grew up okay that's the last piece right there let's set this thing out because i can't wait anymore this is just a vertical stand so you can i'm going to use this to mount the playstation 5 vertically on it so i i can save some space
space on my t uh, TV stand. What you want to do to use this is you want to twist this until you unlock the screw. The screw is just going to be in a little compartment down there, so hidden, so it's good because you can always take this off and just pack it up away and then, you know, save it for next time. I'm going to take out the screw and then I'm going to attach it directly to my PlayStation 5. To do that, we're going to need a screwdriver or a spoon, whatever you got. I'm going to use this little screwdriver right here. You want to also make sure that these two lines are aligned with this top part or this bottom part of the stand. So let's grab the PlayStation 5 and connect it. Okay, we got the bad boy right here. So next thing to do is make sure you have this end pointing outwards. And then the next thing you want to do is take off this little thing right here. So this thing covers the screw hole that you're going to use to attach the stand to. We're gonna take that off by just, you know, picking it out. So it's a little piece that you just pick out and then you have your hole exposed. This little piece can also go into the stand so you can save it there so you don't lose it. There's this little hole right here. You just place, you attach it in there. You just place it right in there and it's safe for the next time you take it off. And then you close this little compartment back up. Next thing we're gonna do now is attach this to the PlayStation 5 console. So you wanna make sure that you have this bottom part at the bottom, not at the front, not the shiny part, more where everything looks kinda ugly. So we have that attached, and then next thing you wanna do is use the screw, and basically use a screwdriver to attach it in there. So next thing we're gonna do now is get rid of this thing, the PlayStation 4. This is going into my bedroom now. I'm gonna be accessing the PlayStation 5 using PlayStation 5 Remote Play off the PlayStation 4. So let's do that. I'm gonna take this out right now, out with the old, and with the new. Next gen, baby, let's do this. So I'm gonna place this right here. See how that looks, man. That looks really good to me. I don't know about you, but that sits right. Works with the furniture too. Look at all that white, man. That looks really good. Next thing I'm gonna do now is attach the cables and turn this baby on. There's only two cables you really have to worry about with this. Everything else is just, you know, add-ons or extra little accessories that you're going to be using with your PlayStation 5. You want to attach your power adapter and your HDMI 2.1. Make sure you're not using HDMI 2.0, especially if, if you have a nice TV that can, you know, harness all the full power or full potential of the PlayStation 5. So let's place this where it belongs. Okay, so I'm gonna connect the Pulse 3D headphones to this as well. Right here I've got the wireless receiver. So I'm gonna plug this to the front or to the USB port on the front of the PlayStation 5. Just like that, now you can connect the headphones to it. Right here I've got the charging dock for, for both my controllers. So to use this, you just have to connect it to power. Just, just plug it in, you know, to power. That's basically it. Okay, let's charge these bad boys right now. So all you have to do is place the controller on there facing outwards, and then you're going to notice an indicator light, orange, around the controller. There's not really much to set up with this, so I'm just gonna place this right here where it belongs. Last but not the least, we have the HD camera. So this piece is super easy to connect as well. As you can see, it's just a USB 3.0 that you can connect directly to your PlayStation 5 and just stream. So it's super easy, plug and play, nothing crazy, and you're good to go. All right, so I've mounted the camera on my TV. I'll show you guys in a second the entire setup. I'm gonna turn on the PlayStation in, in a second here. You guys are gonna see how awesome this thing is, man. I don't really know, because to me, it's just, this is the first time I'm doing this too, but I'm excited for this, man. <music> Okay, I'm ready to turn it on. Let's do this, man. <laughs> oh, man. It just gives me a good, good feeling right now. I can't wait to see how this works, the entire system and how it looks. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so basically, in order to tether this to the PlayStation 5, basically the controllers, I need to connect it directly. So I'm gonna do that right now. We've got USB to USB-C. So the old one didn't use USB-C, it was a regular USB cable. USB-C is faster, so this is gonna charge a lot quicker. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. Connect to control la consola con un cable USB y Okay, I don't speak Spanish, but that was Spanish. 5G, yo, we couldn't connect the 5G on the last one. So the PlayStation 4 had the slower 2.4. That's all you could get. Now we can go through 5G Wi-Fi. This is sick. I can't wait to see how fast, you know, the download speeds and the upload speeds are. I'm gonna go with optimized. I'm gonna go through the custom settings later because I don't wanna waste anybody's time. And then I'm going to click I agree, confirm. This is just basic setup procedure right here. Okay, so it needs an update, so I'm gonna do that as well. 
Next, I'm gonna just press the PlayStation button and then kind of log into the system. There's just a bunch of updates to do, so be expecting this when you get your console. Okay, I'm now signed into my PlayStation Network account. Choose a privacy profile that fits how you like to play online. I've never seen this before, this is new. I'm gonna go with social and open. This is a great profile for me to use for my privacy, so I'm gonna apply that right there. Say confirm and continue. They also basically wanna do what you know most of these social media platforms are doing now, personalized purchase recommendations and personalized advertising. So they're gonna show you things that you know you like based on your your the way you play games, the kind of stuff you do online. So that's what they're basically asking here. So I'm gonna say confirm and continue. They already do it on every other platform. So I'm, I'm at this point, you might as well just hit confirm and continue. So how do you want to receive verification codes? I'm gonna use a text message for now, then I'm gonna use an authenticated app later. So you can also obviously transfer all your you know data and you know save settings and all that from your play, PlayStation 4 directly it seems like there's going to be a lot more to do to set this up I'm not gonna do this right now I'm gonna transfer all the stuff later you can do this you know at your own time it's pretty easy you just have to follow the steps as you, as you can see right there right now I'm gonna hit do this later finally welcome to PlayStation 5 I've been waiting for that message the entire time but it's okay to set up the whole thing it's the first time oh that looks good oh yeah 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 I love it yep yep Sign me up, man. Remote play. This is basically the interface, so I'm not gonna be doing anything here. I'm gonna go download a few games right now. I'm gonna get Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then I'm gonna get Spider-Man, and then I'm gonna get NBA 2K21. I'm basically done with the video right now. That's all I wanted to show you guys was myself unboxing the brand new PlayStation 5 as well as setting it up. So that's all I've got for you guys. I'm going to be playing these video games live on Twitch, and I'm, I also have another YouTube channel where I'll be posting video game content, you know, actual video game content. You can check that out. The link will be down down in the description as well it's a brand new channel that I just started and I hope you guys support that as well if you made it to this point of the video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe you to my channel and if you enjoyed this video and want to see some more like it make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I'll catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching this man it's Midas and I'm out